Uh, guys, just so you know, like girls are fucking insane. Like sometimes we'll start a fight with you just to see if we can make it seem like you started the fight. We have to do it four times a year or we lose our standing in the club. Girls are crazy and from the day we start dating you, you don't know this, we keep tabs on everything you do wrong. So that if and when we decide to break up with you, cause I don't know, the wind changes direction. We can then refer to said list, extrapolate one isolated incident and use that as the piece de resistance of our breakup masterpiece. You don't believe me? Guys, you ever been dating a girl? Everything's going fine, everything's fine, and out of the blue, she just dumps you. You're like, you breaking up with me? Yes, your feet look like eagle claws. There, I said it, caca. <laughs> I said caca, goodbye. It wasn't your gross eagle feet. It was a litany of reasons she just chose the one. And just so you know, I don't do the whole, oh my God, no, it's me, not you. No, it's you, motherfucker. Here's a list of reasons why. I dated a guy for three months. We were on our first date, so we're at a bar, right? So we're doing first date stuff, right? We're drinking, talking, taking muscle relaxers. It's like a first date, like whatever. <laughs> and I'm asking him first date questions, things you need to know when you date someone. What do you do? Where are you from? How much do you bench? Just like things if you're gonna date someone. And I was like, what's your middle name? And he's like, my middle name is Paul. Now, <laughs> reciprocity in like a normal conversation would dictate that perhaps his next question to me should have been, What's your, nah, 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 that's right. <laughs> but he never asked me my middle name and I fucking remembered that. <laughs> now here's the problem. He didn't necessarily do anything wrong. Men and women are wired so differently. I'm surprised we can be in the same room without ripping each other's genitals off. <laughs> if you went back and you asked him, why didn't you ask her her middle name? He'd be like, well, at the time she had long hair, I thought she was a mermaid. Like not even in the same stratosphere. <laughs> of that game. And we sit there and as women, we let it fester and we sit there and it gets worse, but we don't tell you our faces. We have the Stepford wife facade and we're just sitting there listening to you talk. But inside it's like, okay, he didn't ask my middle name. That means he doesn't want to get to know me, my hopes, my thoughts, my dreams, my feelings, my friends, my family. We're never going to have a family. Like that's the way that devolves. So I began planning the breakup <laughs> on the first date. Uh, now, before I share with you my alternate fantasy breakup, I'm gonna tell you the way we actually broke up, which is not very fantastical at all. The way we actually broke up was yours truly got a little drunk one night and texted him something to the effect of, you don't even watch Breaking Bad. How are we supposed to be together? That's actually how we broke up, so. So now for your viewing pleasure, I'm gonna share with you my ultimate fantasy breakup. Okay, so. When you're a woman, you possess this magical, innate ability to create conflict where there formerly was none. All right? Out of thin fucking air. Just pull it out. No, you could do this show in Las Vegas and get paid for it as like a magic act. Like nothing on my sleeve, nothing in my hand. Poof, now there's a fight, motherfucker. <laughs> the point is, guys, if a girl wants to have a fight, the lady shall have a fight. There's nothing you can do about it, okay? You, you can cough, that's enough, that's fine. It's enough to fucking start World War III just watching TV. And the guy, <coughs> what did you say? <laughs> I didn't say anything. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> I didn't say anything. I'd be like, you know what, just forget it. And I would start crying. Now, I'm telling you now that I'm going to cry then. I'm going to make myself cry. How do you make yourself cry? How do you make yourself cry? That seems like a difficult thing to do, right? A lot of actresses get paid a lot of money to make themselves cry. How do you make yourself cry? I'm going to tell you, you take a small pocket knife. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I would turn around and unbeknownst to him, I would pluck a solitary nose hair. You ever do that? That shit hurts. Real bad. <laughs> but it's going to escalate the energy of your argument very quickly. Your argument will magically be transformed from, you know what, just forget it. <laughs> Big tears, okay? You want the kind of tears that girls on The Bachelor cry when they don't get a rose. Those kind of tears. <laughs> Big tears. By the way, the reason those women are crying isn't because they didn't get a rose. They're crying because they know they can't go back to their jobs as kindergarten teachers now that America knows they're whores. That's why they're crying.
And then he said he loved me and we had sex in a castle. Yeah, and we all watched it. You're super gross. Okay. <laughs> so I'd run outside. I'd be like, forget it. And I'd run outside and I'd start yelling, I hate you. Why am I yelling? Because I'm angry? I'm not angry. I want the neighbors to come out. I want them to see how you treat me. He treats me fine, it's fine. He'd run out and he'd run out and he'd be like, Eliza, what are you doing? Get back inside. I'd be like, you don't tell me what to do. I'm an independent woman. I listen to Beyonce, surfboard. <laughs> he'd be like, why are you so upset? I'd be like, I just feel like, I just feel like, I just feel like we don't even talk anymore. And I just feel like we have fun, but like, we don't really, we don't really know each other. Do you know what I'm saying? Like we spend time, but we don't know each other. Of course we know each other. Of course I know you. Really? What's my middle name? <laughs>